Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know to get up and running with Google Keep. Google Keep is Google's note-taking app and it's accessible on any device, any computer, so you can access it by going to keep.google.com as you can see that's what I've done here or you could download the app for your Android or iOS device and we will take a quick look at both of those apps towards the end of this video. But here we are in Google Keep, you obviously have to have a Google account so make sure that you log in with that. Like I said, it's a note-taking app, so to get started, we can just start taking a note. You'll notice that towards the center of our screen, there's a box for us to type in. We could alternatively click one of these buttons over here to the right, which would be just different ways to start our notes. We could start our note as a list right away, which just means it's going to have check boxes added to the note. We could start our note with an image right away, or we could start our note with a drawing. But it's important to understand that once we create this note, we can add all of these elements later on. So it doesn't really matter. So we can just click in here and we can start typing you'll notice that there's a field for a title. So we'll just call this, let's say it's content ideas. We're making a list of different topics that we could make tutorials about. So you all know that I do Google Drive, Gmail, Google Calendar, all these different Google apps, and now we're doing Google Keep. So we've got those on our list here. And to add some check boxes to actually make this a list that we can mark items off of, we can just click on the three dots down here, and then we can uh, go to the show check boxes option. You'll notice that now check boxes appear on our list, and we could check any of them. And when we do that, the item that we checked is now moved to the bottom into the completed section. And we could obviously uncheck that if we wanted as well. Notice that there are a number of different options here in Google Keep when you're adding a note. And all of these options are exactly the same as they are on Android and iOS. So keep that in mind as we go through here. They might be located in slightly different places, but their functionality is the same. So let's go ahead and just start looking at all these different features that we have. The first one is the Remind Me feature. And what we can do is we can click on this reminder. You'll notice that we have some quick options. We could quickly remind ourselves later today at 8 p.m. or tomorrow at 8 a.m. or next week. Uh, or we could pick a specific date or time or pick a location. So I mentioned that Google Keep works on our mobile devices. So we could actually be reminded when we arrive at work. Okay, uh, we need to go talk to you know, so-and-so in this department. Uh, so you can add location-based reminders. I think that's a nice feature, so important to note here. Uh, but we're just going to pick a date and time. So we'll say that we want to be reminded today at, and we'll do a custom time. How about we do 11.25? Okay, and it's a non-repeating event. And then we can just click Save. So now this reminder has been added to this event, and that will also now show up in the Google Calendar that's associated with our account. So we'll be reminded that we need to go do that. So that's a great feature. The second option that allows us to add a collaborator. If you use Google Drive, you know exactly what that means. We can add somebody that can work on this note with us. So I could click on Add Collaborator. We'll send it to webmaster at ansonalex.com. Save that. So we've now added a collaborator to this note. So they'll get notified and they would be able to come in and edit the note as well and see everything that we've put in there. So obviously Google tries to make all of their tools very collaborative and Google Keep uh, follows along in that way. Notice we could just change the color of the note. This is really just a preference thing, but as we add a lot of notes to our Google Keep, it might help you organize them a little bit by being able to color code them. I'm actually going to just turn this back to white though. I think it looks a little nicer. Uh, we could add an image. So let's just click on this add an image here and I've got some images here on my desktop. Uh, we can just add this wave image here to our note and you'll notice that it's now up here at the top. So all of our images are going to go up at the top. We're still in the same note, remember. Okay, so we talked about the colors, we talked about adding an image. Uh, we could archive this note, which I'm not going to do right now, but it's basically it's going to take it out of the notes section here in Google Keep and it's going to put it in the archive section. So it's kind of a, just like works just like Gmail, if you're used to archiving emails from your inbox, but it basically puts the note somewhere so if we need to access it later on, we can, but it takes it away from being front and center if we're no longer working on that note. So we'll, we'll look at that in a few minutes. That's the archive button. Let's go ahead and click on the more drop down. You can see we have a number of different options in here. So we could delete the note. We could give the note a label. So let's go ahead and do that. That works just like labels do in Gmail or even as folders do in Google Drive. So we'll click add label and we'll just call it content for now. You'll notice that when I tapped enter there, the label was added right here. And later on, we'll create some other notes and maybe give them some other labels so you can see um, how that looks when we look at all of our notes as a whole. But let's go ahead and click back on the three little dots to see the dropdown. And we could add a drawing element to this note. So I'll just click add drawing. 
I don't know if you've used any of the drawing features with uh, in the Google Suite yet, but they're starting to get a lot better. So we can just we can do whatever we want here, but let's just try and type a or draw a word out. We'll draw out hello. Uh, but of course, you could draw anything in here, and then we'll just uh, go back. And there's actually a reason why I typed drew out a word, and that is because uh, Google can actually try and transcribe your drawing into text if you're if you're writing, which is a pretty cool feature, especially if you're using a mobile device, because it's a little bit easier to draw on your mobile device with your finger than on a computer with the mouse. You might as well type, right? Uh, but it's more for the mobile devices. So we'll actually take a look at that a little bit later on here in the tutorial. But let's keep going through our drop down list for now. So we'll go back and we'll click on the three dots again. So we just added a drawing. We could make a copy of this note. So let's just uh, click that. So you'll notice that uh, down here, behind this note, we'll actually close it for now, you'll notice that we have uh, two notes. So our first note, which is right here, and actually the only reason I know that this is the first note is because, first of all, it has the reminder that we added to it. So notice that when we copied the note, it did not copy the reminder, and it also didn't copy the uh, person that we shared it with. So our new copy has not been shared. So if somebody shares a note with you, you can safely copy that and then start working on that yourself without worrying about working on the shared copy. So it kind of works like Google Drive, again, if you're familiar with that. But let's go back into our original note here. I'm just going to click on it. We'll click on the three drop downs again. Uh, notice that uh, we could uncheck all the items. So if all of our items in our list were checked, we could easily do that. We could delete the checked items off our list. So right now they're listed in the completed section, but obviously uh, hitting that option would delete them. We could hide the check boxes. Uh, so that would just remove all of our check boxes. So now our list is gone, but then we could go back in here and we could click show check boxes. Notice that when we did that, it doesn't remember that one of these items was checked off, so we would have to go back and check that off again. So if you're going to play around with your checkboxes, remember that that can happen. Let's go back and look at the drop down again. Here's our grab image text option. So let's go ahead and click that. And you'll notice that, look at this, hello, <laughs> go was added in here. I don't know actually where that came from. That might have been, maybe that's what, it got something out of this picture, I'm not sure. But it got the hello out of our drawing and it added it to our list here. So that's that feature I was talking about where it actually takes the text from your drawing. It doesn't work perfect every time, but it's something that you can play around with. And uh, then our last option in the drop down is we can actually copy this note to Google Docs. So let's actually click that. And you'll notice it says copying to Google Docs. So we can go up here into our browser. Let's just go ahead and go to drive.google.com. We'll go to recent. And look at this, we have a Google Doc in here. It's called Content Ideas, Google Keep. Hey, look at that, Content Ideas. We open up the Google Doc and there it is. With all the content that we added to our note in Google Keep is now here in Google Docs. And actually there's another cool feature that I'd like to show you as well. And that is if you go over here to uh, Tools, you can actually select Keep Notepad. And you'll notice that this little area opens up to the right side of my Google Doc and I now have access to all of my Google Keep notes uh, so you can uh, you can drag the images, or you can drag the notes right in over here from the right. So that is a great way to uh, transfer information, you know, uh, from kind of that beginning stages, the early stages of putting everything together, outlining it, maybe adding some images even on your mobile device. Uh, definitely very cool that you can collaborate kind of between Google Keep and Google Drive. Uh, so that's every covers everything that we have on this drop down list. So uh, you can see we added an image, we added a drawing, we've got our checklist. So let's just go ahead and close this note. Uh, so we have our two notes here. Now let's open up the one that we made a copy of and uh, we'll make this one look a little bit different. How about we delete out the image and actually let's add in a different image. So I deleted those two aspects out. I can go back down here to add image and we'll just add a different image so that it looks a little different. And let's add a different label as well. So we're going to go down here and we'll go to our more list and we'll go to change labels and we'll uncheck the content label. So we'll remove that and we'll just call this images. We'll hit enter and we can actually close this. So now you can see we've got our two different notes. Uh, we could even change the name of this just to images and let's delete out these check boxes. We'll just hit the X next to each one of these and then we'll close it. So now we have our two different notes with our two different labels. Uh, and you can notice that on the left, our labels are also listed here. So if I wanted to see just the notes in the images label, I could click on images. If I want to see just the notes with the content label, I could click on content. And then I can go up here to notes to see all of them. I could also click down here in one of these labels. So let's say I click in the content label. And now if I go over here and take a note, take a look at this, we'll just call this test. And we'll close it. 
you'll notice that this new note automatically has the content label added to it because we created it from the content section. Uh, so we could obviously go in and remove that label. We can just hit the X. But if we wanted to create the note without a label, we would have had to create it from the notes section. So that's just a minor thing that I think is important to just highlight a little bit here. We can also archive these notes like I mentioned earlier. So when I hit that, you'll notice that it goes down here into the archive section. If I go up here to notes. Um, I don't see that note. Uh, but if I go ahead and click on archive, then I see the note that I've archived. So uh, again, it's a good way to hide those notes from the main notes section up here uh, once you're done using them. You can change your view in Google Keep uh, by going up here to the top right, and this is the same on the mobile apps as well. You can click on list view, and now you can see everything one at a time and just scroll down instead of having them in kind of a grid view. And then obviously you can change all of your Google Keep settings over here on the left. You'll notice that you have the settings section. So when you click on that, you can just change some of the way that your lists behave. By default, we looked at those quick reminders when creating a reminder. You could change what your defaults are. So instead of being 8 a.m., you could make it to 7 a.m. You could change your afternoon to 1230, whatever you want to do. Uh, you could completely disable sharing for your entire account if you wanted to by unchecking this checkbox. Um, so you can kind of take a look in there. And then if you take a look at the very top of your screen, you have a search box. Uh, this is a really powerful search area, just like all Google products. I mean, we're talking about Google search, right? How did they get so famous? So you can, you know, just type in here to uh, look for text. It will search the title of your notes and the body of your notes, or you can also filter as well. So you could click on lists and it will only show you lists. Uh, then we can click the X up here to clear our search. We could click on reminders and it will only show us our notes with reminders. Um, so you can just filter, you could just filter by your labels, or you could filter by notes that you're collaborating with specific people. So whoever you're collaborating with, uh, for any of your notes will be listed down here. And then if you click on that person, it will show you all the notes that you have uh, shared with them or that they've shared with you. And then of course, like I said, you can just type up there with text. So very powerful search tool. Uh, let's quickly just take a look at Google Keep on iOS and Android, and I'm just going to open up the same account so you can see that these notes are already in there for both devices. Okay, so you can see on the left side of our screen, we have iOS, and on the right side, we have Android, and they both look basically identical. Google does a really good job of making their apps uh, compatible cross-platform. So you could see we could take a new note by tapping in the Take a Note field at the bottom left on each of the devices. So we could go in, start adding a new note. You'll notice that there's a couple options up here uh, towards the top when we start taking a new note. One of them is the pin option, that first one there that I didn't talk about earlier. So actually, let's go back here on both these devices and let's take a look on iOS. We're here at this note that we already created. If I press the pin button on this note, and I'll do it, I'll go in here on the Android and see it hadn't registered yet. So we just did it on both devices. You'll notice that it puts this note at the very top of our list and it's gonna keep it there no matter how many new notes we create. Usually your notes are ordered in the last one that was modified, uh, but we can use that pin option uh, to keep notes at the top. Um, so you can do that on the computer as well, but if it was just more front and center here on the mobile devices, so I'm showing you here, you'll notice that on the bottom, we could create notes uh, starting with a list, starting with a drawing. Uh, we could actually do it by voice on our mobile devices. Uh, so you'll notice that uh, if we tap that, we would be able to speak to note and it would transcribe our voice. And then you have the camera icon. So you could start taking your note just by taking a picture. Uh, so that's definitely a, a great option as well, especially when you're using the mobile devices. At the top left, we have our area in our mobile devices where, where we could access our labels, our reminders, our archive. And then uh, towards the top right of the mobile devices, we have our magnifying glass to search, and then we have our layout option. So we could change our layout to view one item at a time. But you can see that on Android and iOS, they look absolutely identical. Uh, very well done by Google. So that's everything you need to know to get up and running with Google Keep. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.